Hello, hot dogs, and welcome to the morning announcements. Today we'll be talking about best buddies, parking tags, and more after the pledge. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Best Buddies is looking for new members this year. You can be one on one buddy or an associate member. If you have any questions about this program, please talk to Ms. Jagger or Mr. Jagger. You can sign up by doing this in the link in the chatter. Drug testing forms were due last Friday. The main office will take them until 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. Then after that, you'll have to wait for 60 days until you can participate in a club, extracurricular activity, or drive to school. So, for, so if you turn it in on Thursday, you'll be ineligible to participate or drive to school until October 25th. Now to sports and weather with Austin and Pedro. Good morning, hot dogs. The wrestling team will have a call-out meeting Thursday right after school in the wrestling room. Also, boys and girls interested in bowling, there will be a call-out meeting Thursday, August 26th at 6.45 at the Big Shell Shelter House at TPA Park for bowling. Make sure you show. The Lady Hot Dogs soccer team got their first win of the season last night. Let's go to AV for more details. Thanks, Austin. On Monday night, Lady Hot Dogs traveled to Eastern High School for the third game of the season. They managed to break through the barrier when senior Mia Hernandez scored to even the score at 1-1. One and one. The lead wouldn't last long as the Comets managed to grab two goals before halftime when they took advantage of knowing how their field plays and making the Hot Dogs a little indecisive. The Comets led at halftime with 3-1. and one. With the ladies controlling the action, though, they finally managed to score the, their first second goal with about 15 minutes left in the game when freshman Ava Michael scored her first career goal. The Comets def Comet defense managed to tie the game up with seven minutes to play when sophomore Natalie Cruz netted her first goal of the season. The Comets did their best to go back ahead after leading for most of the game, but after a deep turnover, Lady Hot Dogs counterattacked the length of the field, which resulted in the game-winning goal by Ava, a shot that had just enough on it to cause the coming goalie to mishandle it. The Lady Hot Dogs managed to hold on for the final three minutes to preserve their first win of the season. The win takes the record to 1-2 and two on the young season. Next up for the Dogs is their Sagamore Conference opener at Crossville on Wednesday at 6.30. <clears throat> Thank you, and hello again, everyone. This will be another short weather for today. So our weather for today will be a not so chilly 71 degrees with a high of a surprising 91 and a disappointing low of 70. It will be another cloudy day, so stay inside and cool down. I hope you all have a terrific Tuesday. Let's get back to our host. Attention, there is a menu change. Lines 1 and 2 are now French bread pizza, and lines 3 and 4 are now mozzarella cheese sticks. Tomorrow's lines has changed as well, as lines 1 and 2 will be rotini, and 3 and 4 will be 4 by 6 pizza. All this week, the neon gear will be for sale in the commons for Friday night, a game against CP. You can purchase neon stuff like this from the student council. I love this neon stuff. How about you? I love the neon stuff too. Happy birthday to Celini Quattro Lopez and Lona Shire. I hope you have a happy birthday. This is all for the announcements today. Make sure to like and subscribe and ring the bell so you won't miss another video. Have a good rest of your day.